Sutter and Amy in the spectacular now. Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped, a little over a month. Sutter Miles Teller is a troubled high school senior who drinks too much. When his girlfriend breaks up with him, he gets blasted and wakes up the next morning on his classmate's lawn, a girl he doesn't know named Amy Shaley Woodley. A typically hyperbolic high school romance ensues, and somewhere around a month or so later Amy tells Sutter she loves him. To be fair, this probably isn't all that uncommon by high school standards. Jamie and Aurelia in love actually. Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped five weeks. For five weeks, Aurelia Lucia Manis, who speaks Portuguese, works as Jamie's Colin Firth maid, and the two somehow grow fond of each other despite not speaking the same language, almost literally never exchanging words because they can't. Of course, Jamie recognizes this for what it is, true love. After she's moved on from her duties as a maid, she goes to work as a waitress in France. Jamie learns a smattering of Portuguese so he can go to her restaurant and propose, and she accepts. The list of things these two know about each other, their names end of list. The two spent five silent weeks together before Jamie proposed. To be fair, they never actually exchanged I love yous, but doesn't that just make it more messed up? Pretty much any romance in this movie would qualify as moving too quickly, as they are virtually all about a month long. Graham and Amanda in the Holiday Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped two weeks. Amanda Cameron dies just needs to escape the rat race of LA not to mention her adulterous boyfriend, so she heads to a little cottage in Surrey to spend the holidays alone. She gets bored after a few hours but fortunately, a drunk but handsome guy she's never met named Graham Jude Law shows up at her door. Naturally, they get intimate. Amanda's getaway is only scheduled for two weeks, and the two spend some more quality time together. The day before her flight home, Graham confesses his love for her. Andy and Ben in How to Lose a Die in Ten Days Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped ten days. This one's a bit tricky, because we never actually hear Andy Kate Hudson and Ben Matthew McKinnon explicitly say I love you to one another, at least not earnestly. Andy does it after a couple of days, but it's all part of her ruse. However, we do catch a glimpse of the article Andy writes at the end of the film, in which she admits I lost the only guy I've ever fallen for. The phrase fallen for is simply a truncated version of the phrase fallen in love. Instead of losing a guy in 10 days, Andy falls in love with one in that time allotment and essentially says as much. Vivian and Edward in Pretty Woman. Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped one week. After cold girl Vivian Julia Roberts spends one week with a hotshot lawyer, Edward Richard Gere, she breaks her no-kissing rule and kisses him when they sleep together. This turns out to be a mistake, as Vivian discovers via this one kiss that she is definitely in love with Edward. She admits this to him, but he does not reciprocate the sentiment. This is not the fairy tale ending Vivian wants, so she leaves and packs up to go to San Francisco. Edward realizes after one week that she is the woman of his dreams, so he climbs up her building's fire escape ladder, rose in mouth, and woos her. Justin and Kelly and from Justin to Kelly. Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped one week. 
This movie takes place over the course of spring break in Miami where Justin Justin Garini and Kelly Kelly Clarkson meet. Towards the end of their week together, they sing a duet, a song called Anytime, which includes lines like just hold on to my love and let me give you more and anytime you need love, baby I'm on your side. While they don't actually say I love you at any point, Obviously, the lyrics to that song allude to the emotion. They basically confess their love for one another within a week of meeting. Jack and Rose in Titanic Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped for days. Titanic disembarked on April 10, 1912 and hit the fateful iceberg at 11.40 p.m. on April 14, meaning that anyone who met on the ship knew each other for a maximum of four days. This is just as true for Rose Kate Winslet and Jack Leonardo DiCaprio as it is for anyone else. So Rose, who is engaged at the time admittedly to a rich crack, tells Jack she loves him after four days together. Now, Considering Jack's death was imminent when she said it, she gets a little bit of a break, but still four days. Belle and the Beast in Beauty and the Beast Time elapsed before the L-bomb is dropped three to four days. It's not explicitly said, but it seems the events of Beauty and the Beast take place over the course of just a couple days. The beast Robbie Benson imprisons Belle Page O'Hara when she comes to his castle to rescue her father Morris. Morris returns to the village, but Gaston threatens to have him thrown in an insane asylum if Belle won't marry him. Meanwhile, Belle and the beast have been quickly falling for each other. Belle sees that her father is in trouble again via a magic mirror. Beast decides to let her return to him. Gaston leads a mob to the castle to kill the beast and nearly succeeds. Elle cries over an almost dead beast, confesses her love, and breaks the spell, transforming him back into a studly Disney prince. There are a lot of moving pieces here, the largest of which is the fact that many consider beauty and the beast a problematic romanticization of Stockholm Syndrome, but even if Belle wasn't Beast's prisoner, their love timeline is still ridiculously fast. John and Claire in Wedding Crashers John and Claire in Wedding Crashers So I am guessing in the Before Sunrise Trilogy Celine and Jesse in the Before Sunrise Trilogy. Phil and Rita in Groundhog Day. Phil and Rita in Groundhog Day. Susan and David in Bring Up Baby. Susan and David in Bringing Up Baby. Rose and Finn in Star Wars. The Last Jedi. Loretta and Ronnie in Moonstruck. Loretta and Ronnie in Moonstruck. Anna and Hans in Frozen. Ariel and Eric in The Little Mermaid. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.